Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another video explaining some of the slightly more basic elements of Minecraft Redstone Engineering because you guys seem to really enjoy the original video about logic gates. And if you do want a little bit extra understanding on those and you haven't seen that video already, a link to that will be down in the description. Check it out if you want to. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at monostable circuits and T flip flops. These are some of the most useful redstone circuits in the whole of the community and I use them a whole bunch of the time. In fact, if you have ever seen one of my tutorials, before you probably recognize those terms but you might not necessarily know what they mean so that is what this video is for and we're going to start off by taking a look at the monostable circuit simply put a monostable circuit will produce a single short pulse whenever it is triggered so over here we've got ourselves a lever generally speaking when you flick a lever it gives a constant output but as you can see here when we flick this one because it goes through a monostable circuit we actually get ourselves a pulse that is the easy part done. Now, you have to understand that there are two types of monostable circuit. We have got a rising edge monostable and we have got a falling edge monostable. A rising edge monostable will activate at the beginning of the pulse. So as you can see, when we flick this lever, we immediately get ourselves an output. However, with the falling edge monostable, it activates at the end of the pulse. So when we flick this lever, the lever is on, but we don't actually get ourselves an output. We only get an output when we turn the lever off. Both of them are useful and they're often used in various different circuits, for example double piston extenders. But if all of that wasn't quite confusing enough, you can actually combine the rising edge monostable and the falling edge monostable to get yourself a new hybrid type of monostable that is known as the dual edge monostable circuit, which as you can see will give a pulse when we turn the lever on and also will give a pulse when you turn the lever off. Once again, this one is very, very useful indeed, and I often use those in double piston extender circuits as well. So the key things that I want you to take away about monostable circuits is that they give a single pulse when they are triggered, that rising edge means at the beginning of a redstone input, and that falling edge means at the end of a redstone input. As always, there is going to be a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check this out in a little bit more detail, have a play around with it, and potentially increase your understanding if you are still a wee bit confused. A T flip flop essentially does the complete opposite to a monostable circuit. It converts a pulse into a constant redstone signal. Think of it like this. It converts a button into a lever. Now often I get comments like why would I use a T flip flop if I can just use a lever but what you have to remember is the pulses don't always come from buttons. They can come from detector rails, items passing through hoppers, pressure plates and all that sort of stuff and if you want to get a constant output from one of those then you are going to need a T flip flop which is why these things are just so very useful. But anyway if we take a look here we hit this button you can see we get a pulse from the button but our output is actually a constant redstone signal so we could use that for opening doors or something like that and then if we head back over here we hit the button once again you can see it toggles off. The T in T flip flop stands for toggle and that is because we are toggling this system on or off. Interestingly enough, this T flip flop design that we have got in front of us actually uses a very fast monostable circuit for it to work. When pistons interact with a one tick pulse, they actually spit out the block. This here is a sticky piston, but as you can see when we press this button, it pulses so fast that it leaves the block behind and that means we get a constant output. It's a really useful game mechanic and that is another thing that I would suggest looking out for if you're building your own redstone circuitry. Over here I've got an alternate design for a T flip flop as you can see instead of using pistons it uses droppers and an item inside that cycles round to give us our constant output. In fact if you do want to check out designs for any of the builds that you see in this video I have done high low tech episodes for both of these things featuring various different designs all of which have their pros and cons so I would highly suggest checking it out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.